Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you three ways to represent uh, Likert scale data using spaces. So the first way, so imagine that you have your uh, variables entered like this and the scale or the measure is ordinal. So in this questionnaire, I have th four statements in the form of uh, five point Likert data scale, as you can see. Uh, ranging from uh, strongly disagree one to strongly agree five so let's go to the data view or and go to analyze descriptive statistics so this is the first way I'm showing you the first way uh, frequencies and I'm going to move the four statements in my uh, Likert data or my Likert scale to this variable view I'm just going to uh, and do it to show you how I did that. So I just select each uh, statement and then by clicking control and uh, let's click in. Then we move to, we click on this arrow to move the variables on the variable to the variable view. Go to statistics, we leave this like this, we click continue and okay so this way it displays frequency tables that is we have frequency and percent so this is the first way i'm going to take each statement and represent the frequency of each item in terms of strongly agree or from strongly disagree to strongly agree so i have already created a table on word so i'm going to put on this column statements then i'm going to represent or write the scales from strongly agree disagree strongly disagree so then i'm going to put statements here statement number one let's go into zombies to show you what i'm doing Statement number one, statement number two, statement number three, statement number four. So then I'm going to go to the output view and look at each statement. Copy and paste the table of each statement and put it here. So I'm going to copy the first statement. I need technical assistance and represent its uh, frequency. So for strongly disagree we have 16, for disagree we have 17, the 17 respondents disagreed with that statement, then we have 40 respondents, just going to get this near to show you how to represent the data. For neutral we have 40 for agree we have 28 and for strongly agree we have 50 so this is the first way of frequency and I go like this with all statements. The second way is going to be about percentage. So I'm going to use the same output, but I change instead of frequency, I go to select percent. So I'm going to replace the frequency with the percent like this. As you can see, you can follow me step by step if you have your data with you and you want to write the report. Try to do this. You choose either way, whether you choose frequency or uh, percent. If you have small number, frequencies are recommended. What well, with larger? Or with large numbers percent is recommended 
I'm just sharing with you this method because I've seen it in some peer-reviewed journal articles I'm sharing it with you uh, so this is the first or the, this is the second method as you can see so from one output and I can go like this with all statements okay then we are going to move to uh, the to show you the the third method so I'm going to go back to my spaces data view go to analyze descriptive statistics descriptives and then the same way I'm going to undo this to show you how I did it so I'm going to select the this statement so I already I have just four statements this uh, scale I'm going to move them to the variables view go to the descriptive choose mean standard deviation minimum and maximum so these are the three uh, types of data that I would like to have on the output and then click OK so as you can see you have the four statements in this table so my data or spaces tables are already formatted in API styles I'm just going to copy and paste this table here and interpret the results I already have a video to interpret the results on the basis of the mean and there are some argumentations on that but in the literature you can you can find references that consider record data as uh, ordinal data or rather okay so I just can take the mean and interpret it and the same way with the frequencies as you can see so the first one more people say that they are neutral because we have three po uh, dot or point zero eight so if we go back to this first instance in frequency as you can see the majority of students said neutral so we have 16 17 14 so this side is higher than the other side which means that the majority of the central tendency measure of dispersions uh, we can state that uh, the majority of students are neutral with regard to the need for technical assistance so this is as I told you the first way and this is the second way we have to put table like this number two percent and the first table is about uh, frequency and then the last table is going to be about the mean so table number one is about frequency you can see the guidelines of APA if you are citing your papers or the reference or formatting your paper in APA style the latest uh, edition the seventh edition and this is on the basis of uh, I'm going just to omit this table and this is the third method which is table number three okay so that's it if you have questions you can post them below and see you in another tutorial